Don't close that door. Ugh, it smells yucky in here. What are you doing? You know that ant farm you gave Joey? Well, he brought it in here this morning. He wanted me to think of names for all those ants. All 4,000 of them. <laughs> That's cute. Cute? <laughs> you should have heard all the cute names I came up with when I dropped that ant. <laughs> Mel, you look beat. I'm exhausted. There's one you missed. Where? Right there. He's still Where? crawling. Right there. <laughs> Never knew what hit him. Hi. Mel, what are you cooking for dinner? I am not cooking your dinner. If you want something to eat, you better get some hot dogs and do them on the barbecue outside. Joey's ant farm broke. What? Oh, it's all right. Nell murdered them all. <laughs> I've had it. I'm not doing another thing in here. You girls finish this kitchen. The killer's gonna go take a bubble bath, and she's not getting out of that bubble bath until the last bubble has burst. So, <laughs> mm. Hi, where's my ant farm? Uh -oh. They're going to a better place, honey. <laughs> to that great picnic in the sky. You want to join them? You mean they're all dead? Yeah. That looked like Roger. I'm sorry, honey. I'll buy you another ant farm. We'll have a funeral. I'm going to go take my bubble bath. Guess what, Nell? I've invited the new mayor over for dinner tonight. Guess what, Chief? You made a big mistake. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, I am beat to my socks. Since early this morning, I have scrubbed, washed, waxed the walls, the cupboards, the shelf. I have been to the other side of the mountain. <laughs> so? So I ain't cooking dinner for the mayor the governor, the president of the United States, or the chief of police. Now, this is important. Hey, listen. I'm a king, and I will kill again. <laughs> Guess who's coming to dinner, he says. To kill what kind of day I had. No. The hair my fingers all killing me. No. My body all aches, little whack, the cane. All I want is dinner for the mayor. And all I want is a bubble bath. I thought you'd be thrilled to meet our first black mayor. Why? Well, because... Well, you voted for him, didn't you? No. I don't like the mayor. I don't trust the mayor. He's a phony. I voted for Ignacio Gonzalez. I thought every black would vote for a black candidate. Oh, Chief, sometimes you were so... White. Is that a little sailboat in there? Will you get out of my bed? <laughs> Look, now, I'm going to level with you. If you don't cook dinner for the mayor, I'm not going to get my new patrol car. Oh. Patrol car? Yeah. Look at it. Zero to 60 in five seconds on unleaded gas. Nell? The head of the sanitation department has entertained the mayor twice. He wants a new garbage truck. If he gets that garbage truck, I can kiss my patrol car goodbye. <laughs> Look, you don't have to go to any trouble. Just cook a meal that your kind of people like. My kind of people? Would that be cute people? <laughs> Charming people? Full-bodied people? <laughs> you know what I mean. Black people. Oh, those people! Yeah. <laughs> Would you? Yes, Chief. Just get out of here. Let me take my bubble bath. All right, thanks. Thanks, now. <laughs> Is that really a sailboat in there? so incredible about that. <laughs> uh, 
Now, you look real nice. Oh, thank you. The table looks even nicer. <laughs> what are these? Those are finger bowls. I should have known we're having ribs, huh? <laughs> no, we're having Scottish salmon, Alaskan crab, French wine, and Russian caviar. You want it ethnic? You got it. Is that the kind of food that black people like? When we can get it, we love it. <laughs> Daddy, on behalf of my two sisters and my little foster brother, Joey, I have a question to ask. Are you making us eat outside because you're ashamed of us? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's the mayor. Nell, look at this again. I want this car. Help me get this car. Be nice to the mayor. Okay. You want me to jump in the back seat with him? <laughs> I'd better get it. I told him you were the governess. You should have told me. I wouldn't have cooked. <laughs> mayor Hopkins, come in. Welcome to my home. Chief Kanansky. Uh, Kanansky, Your Honor. Oh, shame on me. A man invites me over to break bread with him. I will call you Carl. It's an honor, Your Honor. I'm honored. <laughs> tut, tut, the honor's mine. You know, the city's taking in a big bundle on that new speed trap of yours. Not too many drivers expect to see a motorcycle cop come roaring out of the back door of Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Well, in the police game, Your Honor, you've got to be creative. <laughs> oh, and furthermore, I'd like to say, good heavens. <laughs> Why wasn't I informed that the city was hosting the newly crowned Miss America? Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, Mayor, it is so nice to meet you. I'm Nell Hopper. Nell Harper, delighted. <laughs> My, what a lovely hand. Mm, I like it, too, and I like to keep it. <laughs> There's only one other like it in the whole world. Carl, you caught me up in your latest speed trap, surprising me with a woman with a rare combination of beauty and wit. <laughs> and brains. Nell was the first one to point out how much we need a new patrol car instead of a garbage truck. <laughs> We can get immediate delivery. My, 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 look at that spread. <laughs> caviar, my favorite, thank you. I don't know why caviar is so expensive. I mean, after all, it's only fish eggs. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's harder to lay eggs underwater. <laughs> That's so little, Carl. I mean, she's cooking. She's real hot. Uh, the new patrol car never gets hot. The radiator is computerized. She'd get the wine. Huh? The wine. Oh, oh yes, the wine. Uh, the wine is French. Uh, just like the car. Chevrolet. <laughs> Chevrolet. Thank you. Mayor, you have to excuse the chief. He's a little, you know, pushy about this car. He really needs his new patrol car. If there's one thing that I understand, is a man's knee. <laughs> We're having problems with ants. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could spoil this evening. Believe me now, this is a real treat for a lonely bachelor. It's not often I get a chance to have an evening with a lovely lady. You'll find that I'm a caring man, a giving man, a man with a warm heart. And a very cold hand. I wondered where that went. Excuse me, something in the kitchen. Time will stand still until you return. Where's your father? He went next door to borrow a corkscrew. What? It's the first time he's had a bottle of wine without a screw top. <laughs> well, but Katie, if your father did not 
want this car so bad. If he did not need this patrol car, would tell that mayor to get out of here. Why? He's disgusting. He came in the door. He was disgusting. He squeezed my hand. That was disgusting. Then he reached on the table and squeezed my knee. I would love to find a way to get back at him. For what? Why am I telling this to you? <laughs> Young girls nowadays just don't know when a guy's disgusting. <laughs> you miss me? Passionately. Mayor <laughs> <laughs> happens about the patrol car. Let's talk about us. Mayor? About the patrol car. I love a woman who hangs in there and never lets go. <laughs> That's the kind of woman I need on my team. I mean, I think you should know. I wasn't on your team. I'm not on your team. Now I could use you in a official capacity. Official capacity? You're the first to know this, but I have my eye on the governor's mansion. After all, I'm only a heartbeat away from Sacramento. The new patrol car can make it there in 23 minutes. Five. <laughs> Carl, I, I just came up with a brilliant idea on how Nell can help the people in this town. How? By being the official hostess in the mayor's condo. Official hostess, Your Honor? Please, call me Theo. Drop your honor. Not for you or anybody else. <laughs> Now, don't get it wrong, Nell. I need someone to host my dinner parties when I'm entertaining uh, the assemblymen, the senators, or the governor. Oh, and that's all I'll have to do? Well, uh, we could have a little drinky poo before they arrive. <laughs> and maybe a little cocktail after they leave. Oh, you know we gotta unwind. <laughs> Sounds okay to me, Nell. As long as it's part-time. <laughs> Only a couple of nights a week. Amir, I don't think so. <laughs> Chief, talk to her. She would look wonderful at my side as I dedicate the new patrol car. <laughs> Isn't that great now? <laughs> of course, if she's not at my side, then I won't need her when I dedicate the new garbage truck. Pass the crab. <laughs> Drive carefully, Your Honor. And slow down to 25 when you go by Patskin Robbins. <laughs> Guy, the mayor. Well, now, thanks to you, everything is perfect. Perfect? Perfect? Chief, while you were in the kitchen, he hit on me. Why would he hit you? <laughs> no, no. He made a move on me. Made a move? He made a pass. He squeezed my knee. The mayor? The mayor. That wonderful guy who just left here? While you were in the kitchen, yes. I wasn't gone long. He must really move fast. From zero to 60 in five seconds. <laughs> now he's a bachelor. <laughs> you know, single man, he was just, uh, he was testing the water. <laughs> Chief, I don't think you understand. Let me explain something to you. You see, what the mayor was telling you all night is that you can have your patrol car if he gets me. No. Yes. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> it's either you, the patrol car, or the garbage truck. The eternal triangle. <laughs> that bum, that sink, that creep, that, 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 that rat! I'm going to throw this picture right in his face. Chief, hey, 
It's nice to know that you care about me. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going down to City Hall. Whoa, wait a minute, Chief. Now, this is my problem, and I can handle him. I don't want you risking your job for me. Look, I'm going to go over to his condo right now. Nell, I can't let you do that. Not for a lousy patrol car. <laughs> Even if it does have a new French siren. Chief, I'm real sorry about your French horn. <laughs> but I have to let that tomcat know that I have pride. I have self-respect. Now, don't worry. I'll be a perfect lady. Promise. And then I'm gonna go upside his head with a chair. <laughs> Thank you. Watch your step. Oh, I will, honey. <laughs> Who is it? Miss America. Who? Nell. <laughs> oh, just a moment. <laughs> Right in. What a delightful surprise. Ooh, not a bad patch you got here, Phil. Oh, it gets better as the evening goes along. <laughs> Allow me. Thank you. In the words of American black poet, though it's not fancy, it's not too bad when you got a fox racing your pants. <laughs> Who's the poet? Moi. Theo Hopkins. I like to dabble in the verse now and then. Well, no time for dabbling now. Where is it? Oh, where's what? The bed. The, the what? That is where you keep your bed, isn't it? Now, what on earth are you doing? Oh, would you like to have a little drinky poo first? <laughs> What's your pleasure, honey? <laughs> Eliminating the small talk. You got your hand on my knee. Oh, I'm sorry. I wondered where that went. You're not supposed to do that. That's what the man's supposed to do, not the woman. Well, in the words of that female American black poet, if you're gonna do it, get to it. Nell, yeah. I gather too. Nell, you're taking all the fun out of it. Oh. What is it, Theo? You don't like somebody panting all over you, mm, kissing all over you, thinking that you are easy, that you are a pushover, making you feel used? Mm. That's not macho. Oh, look, Theo, here I am treating him like a Saturday night woman, and he thought he was Monday night football. That hurt, Nell. All right. I'm sorry. Would you like it better if I were shy and I sat here and I batted my eyelashes at you? You do look awful cute when you do that. You move one more inch and I bat more than my eyelashes. <laughs> Don't you realize I'm only treating you the way you treated me? Is that what I was doing? Yes. I'm sorry, Nell. Well, you should be. I thought the chief wanted that patrol car bad enough that I could pull it off. That is no excuse. And you're such a fine woman with such a great personality. I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess that is an excuse. Well, nothing's changed. When it comes to women, I always mess up. Started in high school, the freshman dance. Were you a wallflower? No. I was doing fine till I started slow dancing with Florence Brown. She had one of those dresses with a zipper down the back. And my sleeve got caught in that zipper. And when I twirled her... The rest is history. He must have been awfully embarrassed. After that, I couldn't get a date. Florence Brown became the most popular girl in school. <laughs> they call her Downtown Florence Brown. 
We had a slam dunk Lucy Funk. <laughs> Maybe that's why you try so hard. You know, to make up all the dates you didn't have in high school. Well, the harder I try, the more I get turned down. Have you ever thought that maybe you want to be turned down? You know, that's what my psychiatrist told me <laughs> after she turned me down. Come here. Come on. See there. You're not a tomcat. You're a pussycat. Don't let that get out, Nell. You know I'm running the whole city here. Now look in the mirror. Tell me, what do you see? Florence Brown on the dance floor with a half slip. <laughs> that from your mind. That's not a totally bad memory. You know. you know what I see? I see a very attractive man standing next to a very attractive woman. I like your eyes. I like your chin. I like your lips. I like your nose. I like your hair. So do I. catch for any woman. Look at you. You're charming. You're handsome. You're successful. And you're... you're single. Oh, yeah. I better go. Well, if I'm such a great catch, why are you leaving? You know, if, if you... well, if you want it to have a date with me, all you would have to do is ask. Really? Yes. How about uh, Saturday night? I'm busy. <laughs> oh, but we can talk about it when I see you next week. Next week? Yeah, when you dedicate the Chief's new patrol car. Oh, yes. I'll be there. Whoa. Now, does it mean uh, we can see each other now and then? Well, Theo, Really, I just have to just, uh, I have to think about, um, <clears throat> I'll think about it. <laughs> well. Aww. Good night. Good night, Mama. Uh, excuse me, uh, are you from the sanitation department? Yes. Oh, are you here about the garbage truck? Yes. <laughs> the mayor is an 8B. <laughs> 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 <laughs>